Okay. Uh, we're here over at the Mauro, Mauro School of uh, Dance um, in San Juan. In San Juan, Puerto Rico. And I'm here with Audio, <laughs> um, who is the director. I'm the president of the company. The director is actually my wife, Marina. Okay. Um, oh, awesome. So I, I would like to talk to her maybe tomorrow. Um, well, uh, here um, we are sitting in a studio, very beautiful studio. He has how many rooms do you guys have here? We have three dance rooms. We have one uh, graphic arts room and cool. one music room. Cool. Um, so you fuse all of those together. I see that you guys just did a, a Wizard of Oz. Awesome. And you changed that into it was all Spanish. Was there singing? Ready. Also, Ready. yeah. One of the things that we do is that we, we do a fusion between uh, classical ballet, which is uh, my main art, and Marina's main art, and dramatical theater, uh, and music. So well, one thing that we did that was kind of innovative on the, on the performance was that we actually had the dancers with wireless microphones. Okay. So during the dances, there were some dialogues and talking. So the, uh, the dancers actually had to act instead of what traditionally that we do, which is always pantomime and you go like uh, love and getting married. Yeah. <laughs> but we're actually, instead of just going with the pantomime, we were actually talking on stage, which was a very big challenge because when you're doing a heart variation and you stop, usually yeah. <laughs> you're breathing heavy, so you have to like, control your breathing and give the lines out and then go back into that thing. It was a lot of fun. Wow, wow, that's great. Uh, how, many, uh, how many children or people were in the... Well, in the production, yeah. we had 80 children. Wow. And we also had 25 professional between uh, dancers and actors that were working with us. Because one of the things that we do is that we take uh, professional uh, artists and we fuse them into the, into the performance with the children so that the students have the opportunity to work on a professional grade uh, production with professionals. So that way it's no, it's no longer like a recital in a school show. It mm -hmm. is actually a pro, uh, professional production that integrates the students into it to be part of it. So they actually have an experience of working with professionals doing mm -hmm. what they do. The dancing or the acting. Uh, we had uh, pyrotechnics. Oh, wow. We were doing you know, like special effects. Yeah. We had uh, professional riggers come in. And we had some of the children actually fly through the show. Wow. So it was, it was very, very complicated, but it was a lot of fun. Wow. And how long did that production take to, to put together? To put together, mm -hmm. we started the, the planning. This is actually the second time we did this show. Okay. We put it together on 2007, and then we did a remake this time. We were planning it for about a year. Wow. The actual choreographing and building of the sets and everything started six months uh, prior. Okay. And the final touches, like the very heavy work with the students, etc., was like uh, two months, two months and a half. Wow. But the planning of it started a year before. Wow, great. We're actually already starting to plan the next show for next year. So. What's that show going to be? That's going to be uh, Cinderella. Cinderella, okay. Very cool. It's going to be one of those, uh, again, a mix between classical ballet, and we're actually going to be using the, the score for the ballet. But then we're going to mix it up, and uh, some parts we're going to have it with dialogue, and some parts are going to be the, the classical music, the actual classical dance. Nice. Now, how long have uh, you guys had this, this company here? Well, Maldon started in 2004 okay. uh, as a project between my wife and I. We were dancing in uh, Ballet Concierto, which is one of the largest classical ballet companies uh, in, in Puerto Rico. Uh, then, uh, in 2005, we got separated from Ballet Concierto because we were starting with Ballet Teatro Nacional, which was a new and upcoming classical ballet company that has actually become the largest classical ballet company right now in Puerto Rico. Okay. Uh, ballet Concierto is still working, it's one of the largest companies. Uh, but then Mauro, since we have already had this project incorporated, uh, the dancers that were doing Ballet Teatro kind of like used it as a springboard to be able to uh, create this classical company. So that's when actually Mauro started getting on its own because at first it was just like a little project that we had on the side for ourselves. And then well, being with Ballet Teatro, so well, Mauro, you know, it's coming together. Let's you know really push, push for it. Okay. So that's when we started our our own school, but we were still dancing with Ballet Teatro, so we we're kind of like doing both things: dancing with Ballet Teatro professionally with a contract, and then in the afternoons coming into our school and teaching the classes. It's tough. Yes. Yeah. It's two full-time <laughs> jobs. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> kind of crazy. We're still dancing with Ballet Teatro, but what we did now is that we freelance with Ballet Teatro. Okay. And uh, uh, dance with, uh, with Mauro full time because taking care of your own, own company is a full time job, it's 24 7. So. Yeah, yeah. But we're still dancing with Ballet Teatro. Marin actually holds the title of principal dancer in Ballet Teatro. Okay. Uh, with, uh, together with some of the other principals that are in Ballet Teatro. Um, now, how long have you been dancing? Since I was 11, I'm 36, so that's going to be 20, uh, 30, 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. 25 years dancing. Wow. wow. I actually started in jazz. Really? And hip hop. Yeah. And uh, like all good teachers, my teacher told me that if I wanted to be any good, you have to dance. I had to. <laughs> yeah. First reaction was ah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Took yeah. my first ballet class and fell in love with it. Yeah. Like the challenge. The, mm -hmm. When you get into ballet class, you notice that it's completely different what people put in your mind. And I fell in love with ballet. Yeah. Did you know ever scenes? That's where I met Marina. Kind of like a funny story. Uh -huh. It was the first uh, professional company that I was dancing with. I had just gotten into the company and they were doing Sleeping Beauty. And Marina was dancing as, as an apprentice student also in that company. So we started together during the student show. You know, you have the student show, you have like a couple of hours in the theater doing nothing, and then you have the night show. Uh -huh. And we're both, uh, you know, student apprentices getting into the company, spending the whole day in the theater. So we started dating during this process of Sleeping Beauty and fell in love, yeah. got married, started our own company, wow. and, you know, uh, ballet story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, one of those classic ballet stories. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's really great. Um, now, uh, you said you have 80, 80 kids that are in the, in the show, that were in the show. Okay. I'm, I'm sure that you have more students um, that aren't in the shows, that... Uh, Maybe yeah. little children. How many people approximately do you, do you, uh, do you, are you teaching to? Are you, are you? In Mauro, mm -hmm. we have about 120 students, okay. give or take. But Mauro also has an outreach program in which we take some of our teachers to different public schools Great. Uh, in Puerto Rico to teach an arts class. Because the way the public education is working right now in Puerto Rico, uh, they assign one arts teacher. Which pretty much means that if you have a music teacher in the school, you won't have a dance teacher, you won't have a, a graphical arts teacher, you won't have you know, any other type of arts teacher. So the schools that have a music teacher don't have anything, anything else. The, the schools that have a, a graphical arts teacher don't have anything else. So what we kind of do is that we complement that by taking teachers and give out like master classes and seminaries once a week or twice a week on the schools during the whole semester. And we coordinate with the directors of the school for them to give us a period of time within a school period so that it's not an after school program. It's actually All a right. class that the students have to take during their regular period. Okay. Uh, and we have right now about eight schools that we do this to. Wow. So in terms of contact, we might be touching around the 300 to 500 children per semester besides the 120 students that we have here in Melbourne. Wow. That's really great. I love how that the, you're you're reaching out to the community. Now, is this something that that you saw as an opportunity, or is it something that somebody came to you and said, "Hey, we'd really like for you to do this"? No, it was something that we came up with in Mauro. Okay. Because uh, when I was a student, at first I was uh, in a regular school. I went then to the Performing Arts High School and uh, studied classical ballet in the ballet high school. But before that, I was in the public school. And we had that problem that we didn't have uh, teachers assigned to every, to every, uh, <laughs> we didn't have teachers assigned to, to every uh, type of uh, art. Uh, and we wanted to teach, we wanted to give back to the community. The thing with this program is that the school doesn't have to pay for, for the teachers. Okay. We fund them through independent uh, proposals. So I go to different uh, different companies. It might be the Department of Culture in Puerto Rico, but it might be like private funding, and uh, take a proposal for them for them to fund this teacher to be teaching for a semester Very in the cool. school. Uh, whenever the proposal is granted, I can then go and assign the teacher. Wow. Usually, if the proposals take a little bit too long, I end up teaching the classes for free the, half, the first half of the semester until the proposal comes down. Okay. But when the proposals do come down,